Yes. So I figured we'd talk outside for a minute and get out of the uh, geek cave for five seconds and explain to you exactly why I just said yes to that intro. Now for people who have watched my videos before, that was my Xeon Phi CPU mining system that I recently reviewed and set up that does Veriscoin. Now the card that's right below it, that is an ASUS Strix RX Vega 56, eight gigabyte. Well, they only come with eight gigabyte, but yeah. Um, the reason why I said yes is because of that card. Now, I'm looking to the forward future, near future actually, because as most people who have been mining realize, Ethereum is not around forever. Uh, 1559 hits in one month as of the time of me recording this video. And the merger set for the end of the year or very early 2022. So at that point, there will be no more mining on Ethereum. So it needs, you need to look into the future and see what else you can do. I have a five card, four gigabyte rig right now that is doing Ergo. Works perfectly fine, but it's not the most efficient. It's uh, one RX 570, two RX 470s, uh, one RX 560 and one RX 460. Now, that RX 56 or Vega 56 that I got should be able to hash around 185 mega hash on Ergo. Yes, we're talking about Ergo again. I like Ergo. I have this thing for Ergo. But, uh, and it does it so much more efficiently when it comes to Ergo. The card does do Ethereum or ET hash, but it's only very mediocre, maybe anywhere between 42 to 48 mega hash, but at almost 200 watts. 200 watts software, not from the wall. So it's better utilized for Ergo because you can get 170, 180, 185 mega hash from this card easily at only about 140 watts software. So to compare that, my RX 570 and my two RX 470s combined do about 180 mega hash on Ergo, but each one pulls software wise 70 to 80 watts. So yes, we're definitely having a good power savings. So let's go back down into the geek cave install that card and set it up on my various mining rig and see if it has any issues working with that special CPU and mining on the GPU at the same time. So I've already tested this card and it works very well. But before I put it into real production, I would like to repaste the GPU core on here since this card is three years old. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. There we go. It doesn't look too bad, but it definitely uh, starting to get a little crusty and hard. So let's clean it off and uh, get some fresh on there. So here is the cleaned up GPU core, and you can see the main core right here, the big piece of silicon, and the two four gigabyte HBM2 memory chips right here. And they're all set in a substrate, like a gray substrate right here, that keeps it all perfectly level. So you only have to paste the one big thing. And in case you're thinking of commenting down below and telling me that's way too much thermal paste, 
guess what? I know it's too much thermal paste. Steve from Gamers Nexus has done tests on how much is too much, and there really isn't too much. The only thing you do is waste a little bit of paste, but you're guaranteed full coverage, so you're not gonna hurt anything. Put the paste on and be nice with it. Don't forget to reconnect your cables. Okay, let's go ahead and put it in the system. Okay, let's get it fired up. And there she is. Let's jump over to the computer and get her hashing. Okay, so you can see we have Hive OS up and running on the Xeon Phi system with the new Vega 50, well, new to me, Vega 56 graphics card. And we can see it right here, Vega 56, eight gigs, Asus. Now here's one thing that's interesting as well. The HBM2 memory that's on that card either comes in Samsung or Hynix. The one I have comes in Hynix. Now, if I really push this card, I can get 185 mega hashes out of Ergo. If you had Samsung, it actually uses less power and you can get upwards of 200. So this is not going to be the highest performing Vega 56. But the way I'm going to tune it, I want to go a little bit more for efficiency. So I think I'm going for around 174 to 175 mega hash. And that helps keep the wattage down a little bit and not stress the card too much because I want to get a few more years worth of good work out of this card. So let's jump over to the flight sheet and add it in because right now we're only doing CPU mining on this rig. And as you can see, Here's my flight sheet for Varus, and I am currently mining to the 011 data pool. And the actual owner of that pool is actually found over on Rabid Mining. The, he has a little room for it. So if you want to come and join us, by all means, go for it. Uh, in the meantime, let's see here. I am using not that one. Where is it? Here it is. This is the one I created that's going to add in for the Vega 56 using Team Red Miner because you get the best performance with that. And I'm also going to be doing Ergo plus Zillica. Now I've done um, tutorials on this before and I will try to put a little link somewhere up here that you can go ahead and check that out if you want. Uh, it's mostly for AMD because I really don't have any NVIDIA cards. So if you have AMD cards you want to do Ergo and Zillica I'll show you how to do this in another video. Okay, so we already have the flight sheet set up. Let's just hit the rocket and send it to the moon. So there we go, 175 mega hashes from the Vega 56 at a software of 140 watts. Now, if I push this and crank up the voltage a little bit more and the core, um, core frequency I can get it up to 185 mega hash but at that point we're going up to almost 160 watts I'd rather err on the side of caution a little bit keep the card running a little cooler as you can see she's running pretty good it'll I think it warms up to maybe like 53 degrees C core and 70 degrees on the HBM2 RAM which is a nice sweet spot it's perfectly fine so just for comparison, power wise, remember this is pulling 140 watts at 175, uh, well, 160 at the moment. Remember, the Auto Lycos 2 algorithm does this type of thing, but it's basically 175 mega hash. Let's jump over to my 4 gig rig and do a quick comparison. Now you'll see, okay, one RX 570 and two RX 470s. 
64, 61, 61 mega hash each. So that's what? 6, 12, that's 180, 185 mega hash right there at 60, 120, 180 software watts roughly. So we're already saving 40 software watts plus two more PCIe slots that aren't being used. So while these cards are perfectly good, they do a great job at Ergo. I'm going for more of the energy efficiency now that I've been mining for over six months. Time to upgrade a little bit and more energy density or more hashing density. So I think the RX 56 or the Vega 56 is very good for Ergo. You could get a 64, but they're going to pull more power and I think they get you up to maybe like 200 or 220 i'm not sure don't quote me on that but i'd rather stay with the vega 56 the lower wattage okay so now we're back again and you can see we're at 175 mega hash and you can see through all my testing that's the way the algorithm works every time they start a new block they have to rebuild something so you get this temporary quick dip in your hash rate but it comes right back up that's just the way it is and you can see now the temperatures are pretty much set after 11 minutes and it's actually running a few degrees cooler than my initial testing that was off camera thanks to the repaste so we should be very good with that now so i definitely want to get a few more of these cards but i think i need to sell off my four gig rig first and do a full upgrade so in the future i will get more vega 56s after I get rid of that four gig rig and I sell it off to someone or part it out to pain pond, which way the market goes. And also I'm gonna hold off a little bit because since E1559 is coming around soon, uh, chances are there might be a bit more of a flood of used cards. So I wanna ditch this now, hold the money for a month or two and then start finding more Vega 56s at a little bit of a cheaper price point save me a little bit of money and build up an even better ergo miner than what i have right now so thanks for watching all the way to the end i appreciate it thumbs up please come say hi to myself the founders and everyone else over at misfit mining link will be down in the video description and i will see you next video